Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Chandra Marie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. I really appreciate it. I've been doing YouTube now for a week and I've been having a lot of fun. It's so different from any other hobby I've ever tried. And I love making all of the Sims and, you know, I started the Crybaby Whims Challenge, which has been a lot of fun so far. I'm excited to make the next episode of that. I'm just having a really good time editing and seeing what it's like to do this. I've watched so many different creators. I really had no idea what it was actually like making videos. It's a lot of fun. I mean, if you're interested in trying it, I say go for it. It's not something I thought I would like, but editing and recording is really really fun. So today we are making a sim in cast. This is just a speed sim build but I don't know if you'd call it really a sim build. Create a sim. Speed create a sim. So first off we're starting with a base sim. I can make a base sim very quickly. I do them all the time. Sometimes if I'm bored I'll create a base sim and upload it to the gallery. It can take me five minutes and I think this one, I think to this point, we're over a minute into the video which means in real time it was four or five minutes to get to this point. What I really like to do is I just randomly go through the different features and see kind of what what's a good mix, what I think kind of balances each other out, and then I'll go in and edit each one. And I can do it pretty fast. I have quite a lot of experience making different sims. And then once I have a base sim that I think is pretty, generally they'll make pretty babies and that's what I care about because I like playing legacies, I like playing families, so I make sims with what their children are going to look like in mind. I've definitely seen a lot of sims on the gallery and it's nothing against the creators who make them, they probably just don't play the same way, but sims that when you take them, you take off their CC and all of that and they just look really weird. It's because they were made with CC on and I want my babies to be pretty. So <laughs> I try to make pretty base game sims and then I go from there. Here we're adding all of the little details, trying to get her to look a little bit more human. I really love the aesthetic of alpha you know, skin, alpha eyes, you know, that look and then adding a Maxis match clay hair. I think that the alpha is so pretty, I love that look, but it doesn't mix with what the actual game looks like. So if you mix like the Maxis match hair with an alpha skin and all that, they blend into the game so much better and I love how they look. I'm using a lot of different creators and a lot of like CC from different people. I'm not subscribed to anyone's Patreons for like anything in CAS. I think I only do uh, like Patreon for different mods and things like that. So. I'll link below different creators to link the actual individual items would take me forever because I download just about everything from every creator that I like. So I'll link every creator that I use. Let me know what you think of Samantha. If you like her style, I wasn't really quite sure where I wanted to go with it, so it's a little all over the place. Let me know if you like her clothes, if you like how she looks, if there's anything else you'd like to see in these little creative sims. You know, I'm going to do them like once, maybe twice a week. And let me know what you think of the videos. Don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe if you're interested. I would really appreciate it. I'm new at this and I need all the support I can get. Please make sure to do that. I'm going to leave you with some music for the rest of the video, but I really hope you enjoy. Stick around, see how she turns out, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. 